welcome back to Opecon Homestead. This is Shayla here. And today I'm gonna be reviewing this little Saker mini electric chainsaw. So somebody had reached out to me by the name of Maxwell that wanted me to do a review on this since we use the chainsaw quite a bit, whether it be the big one or the pole saw. Um, we're always, we always got stuff to cut down. There's so many trees out here. There's a lot of small trees and uh, the limbs are constantly growing up on these trees back behind me. So we're always needing to trim stuff up. And then um, we also like to trim branches off for the goats in the winter just to help. And uh, sometimes during the summer too. So I'm actually glad this came this this week because that's exactly what I need to do and our chainsaws are not running properly, the carbs are having issues. And um, so until we get those taken in, this is going to be great because I haven't got my pole saw set up either. So I'm going to use the tractor to get lifted up and get some of these limbs trimmed. There's a few out in the goat pen that we're going to go check out in a minute and uh, test this thing out and see how it works. First we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. So it's got the seal on it. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. All right. So inside the box, it looks like we have a charger. I might have to charge this thing, I guess, before we go run it, but you've got a mini, just a little Phillips screwdriver a little, not Allen, but a, I'm blanking out here. A little socket. Got your battery. Looks like it's a 20 volt. I think it said one and a half amp. Yep, one and a half amp hours. And finally, the chainsaw itself. So my friend actually ordered one of these. Um, a Gosh, it was a while. It's been a while, probably a year ago. I don't know what brand. I don't think it was a Saker. And um, I haven't up. I haven't uh, talked to her to see how she likes it, but I'm really excited to get this thing. Though I wanted one as soon as she ordered it, and I saw it, I I wanted one, but I just didn't didn't ever get one. I just, you know, you know how it goes. So anyway, it's got this little guard here. Um. This little chain is cute. It feels really solid. It's, I mean, it feels really nice. Looks like there's a guard here for your fingers. And then it looks like this is going to be where it's pushed down to actually engage the trigger. And it looks like there's also a wrist strap. Just so you don't drop it on your leg and chop your leg off. Even though I'm pretty sure once you let go of that button, it's gonna kill it. So we'll see if this thing's charged right off the bat. And it is. And that thing's fast. All right, I'm going to put, everything looks adjusted. Let's read the manual, even though I'm not a manual reader. So we're going to read it anyway, just to make sure I don't screw anything up since I'm doing a review video. Alright, the machine suddenly stops running when it's working. Oh, these are precautions. The chain comes off or gets stuck. Alright, I don't need that part. Safety. We all know I'm great at that. Alright. It does come with a little bottle of oil to oil your chain to. There's no hole for oiling. All you're gonna do is just oil along the chain. So make sure it's nice and lubed up and then we'll get out there to the goat pin and test this baby out. Charlotte's piglets. They seen mama, so they're coming out here. I don't have treats, Charlotte. Not right now. This one's fat. 
I think we're gonna keep him back to butcher, do a whole hog roast. And then the little female is going to Ashley with CNC Farms. Y'all, please go check her out if you're not subscribed already. Go check her out and um, subscribe and tell her we sent you over. So this tree right here, all these limbs need to go. I need to get them all cut down and then we'll cut some a little bit higher for the goats to eat on. They are still pinned up from, uh, the, we're trying to let our pasture grow out. You seen in the last video or all the crabgrass, so we're trying to let that grow up and at least get to seed. So when these goats go to eat it and they poop it out, that uh, it'll be reseeded. And then we got all our cattle moved over to the neighbor's place. So all we got is Levi's or Ryan's little calf here that he's been bottle feeding. So I'm gonna quit talking and get started. All right, first cut. Just like butter. guys there it was you've seen it cut it works great there is just right off the bat there is something I noticed that I don't really care for which is it's I don't really know how they'd get around it but this thing sticks out pretty far so when you're going to cut a limb um, you have to get a certain distance away because of that because it's blocking and um, so you can't get up too close to the limb because you're hitting right there so you're gonna have this gap on on some of the stuff so you have to cut from you know just one side that's kind of that's kind of a little booger about this thing but um not too terrible the chain is a little bit loose but I cut down quite a few limbs I'll turn around and show you guys here in just a second that's pretty normal um, Overall, works really great. I think Dakota is gonna love this thing when uh, he's trimming up trees for his deer stand. Um, for anyone that hunts, this thing is gonna be great. It's really not that loud. I don't know how well you heard it in the video, but. I mean, for just doing some quick tree trimming for your deer stand, I don't think you're gonna um, make a big fuss. I think this thing would be great for clearing out trails and stuff if you needed to do that. You know, just a little saw to take with you. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you coming along and checking out this review video on this Saker mini chainsaw. I highly recommend that you buy it, and the link will be below. Tell them the old pecan homestead sent you. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know if you have one, if you've tried one out, or if you're planning on getting one. And we'll catch you next time, guys. <laughs>